today's episode in today's episode I'm gonna be working on another simple chicken dish we're doing huli huli now huli 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 is a Hawaiian chicken dish it basically just means to turn so all it is is a rotisserie chicken over a wood fire Chicken broken down, any kind of piece that you want. I prefer the thigh, honestly. Save the chicken carcass for later. I'm gonna probably make stock with this. Like the video if you want me to make a stock video. All right, now we're just gonna get a blender, blend our marinade nice and smooth. And I'm gonna do you guys a solid. I'm gonna weigh it out in grams so you can get the exact recipe that I have here. Pro tip, go ahead and tear the blender's weight on your scale so you can just measure it all in one thing. We got 35 grams of, of gar we have 35 grams of garlic. We got 50 grams of ginger skin on. Then I'm just gonna do 200 grams of seasoned rice wine vinegar. Make sure to get this bottle, best one. Yeah, 215, good enough. I'm gonna do the old rooster on the bottle, sambal. 50 grams of that. 300 grams of soy sauce, give or take. 320, good enough. The main ingredient is Maui Waui. Also, you might be asking yourself, why does he keep using this Maui Waui and Spiceology stuff in every video so far? Well, I work for Spiceology now. I'm creating content full-time in the test kitchen right now at home because of you know what. So anyways, Maui Waui, in. About 40 grams. Don't worry, I'm gonna also put this in cups for all you people who are like, oh, why didn't you put it in cups, blah, blah, blah. I'll put it in cups, don't worry. Forgot two ingredients. Dijon mustard, about 20 grams of that. About 20 grams of tomato paste. Give it a spin. Go ahead and reserve a cup of this. You're gonna use this later on. And then add in about two cups of water. Marinade done. Now just go ahead and lay your chicken flat in a container, and then we're just gonna pour that marinade in. Now we're just gonna let this rest. Cover it, put it in the fridge, let it go. I'm just gonna toss these in the fridge and let them marinate overnight. At the restaurant I used to work at, I would do the same thing with the chicken wings. We would let them go overnight, grill them off the next day over the wood fire, and then finish them in the oven. With this uh, Maui Waui spice, that pineapple and tamari and sesame in there, it's gonna caramelize very nicely if we do it like on a hot cast iron if you don't have a grill. So I'm gonna show you that tomorrow. Thanks to Movie Magic, I'll show it to you in a few seconds. See you there. Okay, I've got a cast iron skillet. I don't know if you want to see right here. That's what I'm working with. One of them grill grate cast irons. I have this at high heat, not too high though, just between mid and high. We're gonna get some color on this chicken now. So now I'm just gonna mark off the chicken. Now what's happening right now is the sugars from the marinade and that Maui Waui, they're caramelizing, they're doing their thing. Flavors are happening, things are happening. It's gonna be delicious. I like to put rubber bands on my tongs, just a little thing that we do at the restaurant. It's good for grip, you know? So anyways, give them a flip. Now I'm just gonna brush them with that leftover marinade from yesterday. Just a light brush. 
Then when we flip this back over, all of it's gonna caramelize. And we can go ahead and flip this over again and caramelize that marinade. Now once these, are full, once these are fully marked off, I'm just gonna put them on a sheet tray like this. Sheets down on our tray. Okay, I can actually smell the pineapple from that spice. Delicious. So now we can go ahead and toss these in the oven. I'm just gonna let this go for about 10 minutes or so at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, fresh out the oven. And as you can see, the color is just like beautiful, dark mahogany, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color on this chicken. All right, so there you have it here. Huli Huli chicken. It's a very delicious dish. Go ahead and try it out. You can even try it out with a different protein if you don't want to do chicken. Try it with lamb or, or maybe beef or whatever. Try it with something else. Tag me, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching the video. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.